Hi, Erica. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And what do you do here at Skidmore? I'm the Campus Sustainability Coordinator. Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about this new building you just put up? Sure, sure. Well, Skidmore College just put up um, the new Zankel Music Center, and yes, which is we're standing right in front of. So we have some really exciting features of this building. Um, the first is the way that it's heated and cooled. It's, it uses a geothermal system, which um, is a really efficient way to heat and cool a building. And we have, um, there's efficient lighting, there's, there's use of natural daylight with the big windows, there's, um, there's our water fixtures, our um, water conserving fixtures. Um, we have occupancy sensors, meaning that when you walk in a room, the lights go on, and, and when you walk out, the, the lights go off. So there's, um, there's a variety of, of um, environmentally friendly initiatives in the in the building and also the nature of a music building it has really thick insulation both for noise but it also the has the added benefit of, of um, adding insulation cool can we take a look inside sure excellent cool so what's a day in the life of a sustainability <laughs> coordinator like <laughs> well um, my office is in facility services so I work um, on the operations end of the house so working on energy conservation projects with facilities, but I also work um, a lot with faculty and students on academic projects, supporting student projects or talking to classes, um, doing things like this with the Children's Museum, so public outreach. And do they have classes on sustainability here at Skidmore? They do. We have a, a very strong environmental studies program that has a variety of classes that touch on all sorts of sustainability issues. Excellent. So what will we see when we go in here, the front door? Well, we'll go in here. And so we're enter entering the main lobby here. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. So they have double doors to keep the heat and cold out. They That's do. probably pretty common these days. Yep. This is the main lobby. So you can see it's not only an environmentally friendly building, but it's also, it's beautiful. It's comfortable. Um, so we're really excited and the students have been, students and faculty have been thrilled about the way that this building functions. It's interesting because when you go outside, you generally like the feeling of going outside, right? So when we make our living environment inside, or like nature, mm -hmm course we're gonna like it right 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 it's a good point yeah okay so we're just outside Zankel um, and this is a outdoor amphitheater that was designed to have outdoor events so again another way to sort of marry the um, you know bringing bringing the outdoor um, concerts and events to um, to Zankel and literally being being outside in nature so we're surrounded by some great big trees and it's, it's a great space and it looks like uh, the seating is stone so they didn't uh, they used just all natural elements for that they did they did yeah and Erica can you tell us about some of the events Skidmore is sponsoring for Earth Day sure um, we have a we have a full docket on Wednesday which is tomorrow we have um, Jeff Goodell author of Big Coal, as well as he um, just recently released his new book, How to Cool the Planet. He'll be talking tomorrow at 7 p.m. at Gannett, um, in Gannett, which is in Pala Mountain Hall. And then on Sunday, April 18th at 10 a.m., we have a Northwood Stewardship Day where from 10 to noon we have a trail cleanup and then at 1 p.m. we have a children's walk, and then at 1.30 p.m. we have um, a walk geared for adults. And then on Saturday, April 24th, we have um, our Earth Day celebration here on campus, so it'll be on the case green um, from noon, and it'll go into the evening, and the students have food and bands and activities and all sorts of great stuff planned. Here's your nice to nature tip. Um, first is to make sure that your trash makes it into a trash bin and what you what isn't meant for the trash um, you can recycle so 
the plastic, glass, and cans or metal can be recycled as well as paper. And by recycling, we reduce the amount of stuff that goes to the landfill. So Erica, what's important to you about being nice to nature? Well, I spent a lot of time outside as a kid, um, and I think that time outside fostered um, a sense of appreciation for nature. And so I, in college, I, I studied biology and environmental studies, and I, I spent some time teaching, and then I just decided to, to follow the environmental studies thread a little bit more closely, and so I ended up here, and I think, um, you know, I've, I've dedicated my career to um, not only teaching people about the environment, but also working hard to preserve it and protect it. Thanks so much for sharing this video with your friends. Thank you.